Okay, sorry about that. So what we need to do to export our stuff, we can not just go straight to exporting because the Solarian has some extra stuff that Second Life just does not agree with. So what you're going to do is click on the garment and you're going to go over here to our vertex groups uh, panel. That vertex group panel is right here. It's like a downward down pointing triangle in between the materials circle and the wrench. So you just click that and you'll see this little thing called vertex groups. Now I included a script that you're going to need to install that says it removes unused vertex groups. You're going to need to uh, install that so that you can use this feature. Go over to the far corner. You're going to see triangle minus downward triangle. Click the downward triangle and then you're going to click the feature that says remove unused vertex groups. Okay, so that cleans it up, removing all the junk that Second Life doesn't like. So you're going to click on your clothes again. And then you're going to hit File, Export, Colada Avastar. And I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm just going to save this. Uh, CatLadyClothes.da and hit Export. Okay, so those are your clothes exported. So let's go into uh, Blender. It's already nighttime. So, I mean, Second Life. Hang on one second. Okay, sorry. I had to make sure nobody was eyeing me or talking to me. What uh, anybody knew your friends with me. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to import our clothes. Uh, I'm going to make it daytime real quick. Yeah, that's so much better. Oh my gosh. Now it's going right. default daylight and uh, we're gonna go build upload mesh model make sure you took the second life mesh test and make sure you have some money otherwise it won't work oh here I am spoiling away what my next class is gonna be about so we're gonna find the cat lady day clothes and you're going to turn zero lowest to zero and low to zero because nobody uses this anyway so there's no point in generating a high poly uh, model for that crap um, clothes do not need physics so you can just skip that box altogether hit upload options and you want to check include skin weight then you want to calculate the weights and fees and it should be like 11L and just hit upload so I'm going to close that we go to our recent and our object. We're going to put cat lady clothes on. And if all goes well, we have a pair of clothes. I'm wearing that under clothes and nipples. <laughs> okay, so now you see we have a pair of clothes. We could um, use the alpha HUD and get rid of the parts that are sticking out. So let's see. Let's close all this. Get out of here and uh, turn the alpha on hmm that's kind of weird oh okay so that is huh you know, it really should be alpha out. Oh. I had underwear on. That's why it wasn't alpha. I'm like, why isn't it? Okay. So everything else should just start alpha out. And now, let's see, we have our yoga clothes that we made. And marvelous. So that wasn't so bad, was it? Alright, now let's go on to the final part. And that's texturing our clothes. So let's go back in the blender and I can show you how to texture. 